top 10 frequently asked emergency goalie questions. Do e-bugs get paid for just being there at the game or only last seat? Where are those? Three solid this morning, gonna head over yeah. and go away. So when it comes to the emergency backup goalie, I would say it's one of those positions that's really shrouded in a lot of mystery. And in this video, we are here to lift that shroud and answer a lot of questions that I get asked a lot. Um, but I know a lot of other emergency goalies get similar questions, but I'll also be answering some questions that were asked in my last emergency goalie video, how to become an emergency goalie, uh, which I'll put up uh, here somewhere for you. And ultimately, we'll be answering 10 of the most common questions that I get as an emergency goalie. Kicking these questions off, we have a question from Patrick Thompson, 3357, who asks, who in the organization usually handles or arranges emergency goalies? I know the odds of being put in service are small, but they are zero unless I tell the right person I'm available even for practice or workouts. Now, the person who keeps the emergency goalies organized is going to differ from city to city. Uh, some places it is the goalie coach. Other places it's the equipment manager. I've heard of the assistant GM being the guy who keeps track of the emergency goalies. And I've also heard of ticketing agents being the one who uh, contacts emergency goalies for games and stuff like that. So again, that one's going to kind of differ from city to city. But the Preds are playing the Panthers tonight, and I figured what better person to have asking these questions than our other emergency goalie, uh, Dylan Goose Caffrey. Let's go pick him up, head to the game, and we'll get back to answering these top 10 frequently asked emergency goalie questions. Let's go. Goose, emergency backup goalie, frequently asked questions. Yep. Uh, you being a fellow e-bug, we got you over here asking us the questions. So uh, let's jump into it. Pulls out phone. Pulls out phone again. Okay. Number one, do you play for the Predators? Do it. Okay, we talk about this one a lot. A lot of people have this kind of like misconception about the emergency goalie and swear that we play on the team, which is understandable when you say backup goalie. People think, oh, you're the backup goalie for the team. Your third string or something, right? Yeah. No, no, we don't play for the Preds. We're not NHL goalies. Shocking, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very common question that I know that I get asked a lot. I know you do too. Yep. We have day jobs, people. We have day jobs. Yeah, right. So uh, no, no, we do not play for the Preds. And no, we are not in the NHL. Okay, good question though. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay, question number two. I guess we hear it says, is being an emergency goalie your only job? One, no. two, three. No. <laughs> no, I, I work for a major airline. Like, it's cool that I work for this job that has the flexibility to let me live this, like, hockey lifestyle, but... It's a pretty sick job, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty sick. Of course, I would love to be an emergency goalie, like, full-time, but, you know, you're yeah. you're a coach, too. Like, you have your day job that... Yeah. Hockey director, it's hockey all the time, but, I mean, like, it's still a day job. I get paid for I work with kids, I mean... Right. Yeah. yeah, I know there's a lot of other emergency goalies that are either goalie coaches or youth coaches or, like you said, being a, a director. Yeah. Still involved in hockey, but no. Being an emergency goalie isn't a full-time job. We uh, wish. We, we absolutely wish. wish. It would be great, but uh, unfortunately not. Yeah, so that's a good question, too. How many e-bugs are on a team? This is a really good question, and it also going to kind of be a reoccurring theme with a lot of these questions is it's different city to city. Like here in Nashville, I don't even know how many we have listed. Um, I do know that there is a pretty big list. There's probably guys that don't even know they're on the list. Right. Honestly, you might be on the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Uh, but yeah, the way we have things set up here is during the week, I go to all the games during the week. I work Friday and Saturdays, and then Goose here Weekends. picks up the weekend games. So uh, we have multiple e-bugs here in Nashville. Other cities, I've heard of guys having literally just one emergency. Go yeah. Or even one emergency goalie per team. So you have two attend some games. It's crazy, though, right? Again, it's very different from city to city. And um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a reoccurring thing with a lot of these. But yeah. So here's a good one. Do emergency goalies get free gear? 
Like your topic, it's another one that we talk about a lot and talking to other emergency goalies, it's another one that is just different from city to city. Right. Like for us, sometimes if they'll give us sticks maybe, or if we break sticks, they'll give us some stuff. But like, honestly, like we don't get you know custom pads or anything like that. For at least my experience, maybe other teams are different. Yeah, we don't know about, but for us, like, it's kind of, right. they've looked us up before, but nothing crazy. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of other goalies getting gear from the team, but the team does not supply emergency goalies with team. It's not, like, a part of the emergency goalie agreement. Uh, it's just kind of different city to city. Right. Again, we're not on the team, so I kind of get it. Right, of course. Okay, question number five. How often do e-bugs practice? This is a lot of variability. This is another one that is very specific to each city. Like I've heard of emergency goalies that go to every single practice. And I've also heard of emergency goalies that never even get a Touch sniff the ice. of practice. I know here you've been getting a ton of practices lately. Trying, trying to make a save. Other, other teams, like I said, Goalies, emergency goalies don't even get a whist of practice. So it just kind of varies city to city. Yeah, that's a yeah, crazy. That's, yeah. that's a good one, though. How many questions was that? It was five. All right, five questions. We still got five more. We still got a game that we're watching here. Preds are playing the Panthers. We have glass seats. We end up getting glass seats. Glass seats. We're going to enjoy those. Actually, you know what? That's a topic we'll talk about later because that also comes up in the frequently asked questions. Those five questions were just kind of general questions that you and I get. Great love. questions, honestly, yeah. These next five questions are questions that were pulled from the last emergency goalie video I posted. So thank you for dropping the comments and asking all these questions. But let's go watch some of this game and then we'll answer the rest of these questions here in a minute. Let's do that hockey. Wrapping things up here with these uh, these questions that were asked in the comments. Goose, let's let it rip. Let's go, baby. From Mr. Mister 5893 do e-bugs get paid for just being there at the game or only when they play after signing an emergency contract to go in? See, emergency goalie pay is another really hot topic. Um, another thing that'll change city to city. I've heard goalies say that they get paid. I've heard some say that they don't get paid. I mean, here in Nashville, we do get paid, but... It's not enough, like we said earlier, to really call it a full-time job. Uh, but also, like I said, some cities, they pay more. Some cities, they don't pay at all. Just depends where you're at. Right. But you're getting paid a couple of sheets, not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> but the other thing is, like, when a goalie gets in, they sign an ATO, which specifically says, uh, the amateur tryout contract specifically says that they don't get paid. So, uh, no, when a goalie goes in to play, he does not get paid. Yeah. Just happy to be here, boys and girls. All right, let's see. So this is for a Ben for the win, 7581. Great vid. Thanks, Ben. I got a question. Since you're an e-bug, do you get season tickets for the Preds every year? And also, do you have your own locker room? Keep up the great work. Uplifting human being. Yeah, Thanks, right? Ben. Thanks, Thanks for the comment. Uh, so no, we, we don't really get season tickets, but we kind of do. Like uh, here in Nashville, we sit in our seats. We get two tickets. But I've also heard of guys in other cities that sit in the press box. They go by themselves. Again, something that changes city to city. It's pretty cool. Right. Let's see. This is from Captain Darty. A little party Darty for the man. All right. Awesome story. Considering you're good enough to practice with the pros and even be an e-bug, have you or did you consider or try for any level of pro hockey, SPHL or the like? Okay, this is another one that I get a lot. I'm sure you get a lot too, like people thinking that because you're an e-bug, you can play pro or even in the minors or something like that. Uh, for me personally, that ship sailed way before the emergency rule came into play. And even, you know, during the lockout when I was practicing with the Preds, that is really when I, I saw the separation of skill between just a Joe Schmo like myself and an actual pro. Like, there is a huge gap on so many different levels. So, folks, they're on a different plane. You have no idea. It's totally it's, they're incredible. Incredible. So, yeah, like I said, ship sailed for me a very long time ago. Same. And Same. Uh, being able to be an emergency goal is just kind of a great opportunity to stay involved in hockey and uh, go to games. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Let's have fun here, you know? All right, this is from, I'm not even going to try. User, inner, yeah. Have you played an NHL game before? Have I played in an NHL game before? No, I've not. I have gotten dressed before, and actually, 
Okay, I was glad somebody times. asked this question, and I'm so glad that you're here asking the questions for this because I ended up getting dressed with the Colorado Avalanche. I went to warm up. I was there I sat a game. on the bench. Funny enough, you had asked me for the ticket sack. I did. I was. I would have felt completely horrible. I would have turned them down and been like, Bonesy, get over here, get dressed now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it just kind of worked out that way. Yeah. Where he had asked if he can go to the game instead. Yeah. And I already had plans. I was like, sorry, buddy. Like, I'm already have, you know, going to I'm the game. I'm glad that it worked out the way it did. And just so happens that was a night that I got the call. But it was great that you were at the game, too. To just kind of so thing. pumped. Dude, everyone was running around saying, dude, Bones in net. Texting me. It was amazing. Oh, just love the love about this yeah. stuff, man. So, no, I have not uh, played in a game. I have gotten dressed with the Colorado Avalanche and the Bruins. The Oops. Bruins, yep. Yeah. Have you gotten dressed yet? Not yet. There was one time close, funny enough, Colorado in the playoffs. God, playoffs, my lord. <laughs> yeah. Where Kemper got hurt by Johansson, stick blade came through the cage, and I was like, oh, my goodness. So I ran downstairs, but luckily... For, you know, for the team, not for me, that they had their black ace there to make sure everything was all good. But I went downstairs just to make sure they were okay. And they were like, hey, buddy, we're great. Thank you for checking, but we're fine. We have an actual goaltender in net. I said, that's great. Probably mess for you guys. It's playoffs. Kind of a big deal. Yeah, no doubt. So sick. But yeah, that's going to do it here for the emergency backup goalie frequently asked questions. Goose, well, thanks for doing a great job asking all these questions. I can read a little bit. But yeah, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, we'll see oh, you here's around. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mr. Ghost. Get in there.